So ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Scott Feldstein. Thank you, Ryan Chalder. Are any of you guys friends with Ryan on Facebook? Good, because I had to watch him do the ice bucket challenge in the video. He gets out, takes off his jeans, he's got a Speedo on. It's all hanging out. That shit was cold, huh, Ryan? Yes, it was. Jesus, who's that laughing? Is that Chessie? That's Chessie. Is your dad a fucking hyena? Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I'm sorry I'm late. Ryan, how much time do I have up here? You've got... 20 minutes. You've got 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. I thought I had 30, because Juan was texting me every five minutes. Like, where are you? Where are you? Like, I'm fucking Louis C.K. or something. <laughs> Actually, what I was doing, I was cleaning my car. I had a little box of Altoids in my cup holder, and the lid opened up, and that stuff on the bottom of the little Altoid tin fell out. Looked like I was driving around Scarface all day. <laughs> Which is really bad, because I've been pulled over twice, drunk as hell. Got off twice, thank you. <laughs> Must be because I'm so hot. <laughs> I'll tell you the last story. I'll tell you the last story of when I get pulled over. I was so drunk, I was driving around the roundabout like three, four times. So the cop pulled me over. I'm like, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I'm, I don't have tits. I don't have money to bribe this officer. So I thought I'd try and be funny. He's like, uh, sir, do you know why I pulled you over? Uh, is it because I'm black? <laughs> No, sir, you were going around the roundabout five times. Officer was three times. Are you drunk too? <laughs> so he said, give me your license and registration. I give my Oregon medical marijuana card. <laughs> Just to throw him off the scent. So when he got back to his car, I fucking took off out of the roundabout, and it turns out that the cops in bank can't drive through the roundabouts either. <laughs> So I got away. I'm a little bit of a different comic. When I was growing up, I watched a lot of the, the more upbeat comedians, a lot of black comedians. There's a lot of coke in the 80s. And uh, a lot of people expect that out of me, but I was two years old. I fell out of my crib on my head. 20 years later, I hit my head in the windshield of a car at 35 miles an hour. Smoke a lot of weed, so I can't give you that much pep, all right? If I stop what I'm doing, it's either to drink or because I forgot what the hell I'm gonna say. But there's a lot going on right now about politics. Last week it was Robin Williams. This week it's that Ferguson thing, right? Pretty sad, but I don't get involved in a lot of politics. There are a couple of things that I am very adamant about. One would be same-sex marriage. Thank you, like one clap. Jesus, you can't clap for that. There's like two people clapping. Is this a fucking clan meeting? Jesus. So I'm really for same-sex marriage. You should be able to marry anyone you want. You love a, if you're a man, you love a man, you should be able to marry a man. True story in India. You can Google it after the show, please. A dude married a snake in his village. A snake. If you can marry a snake, if I wanted to marry a dude, I should be able to marry a dude. Right? That guy was totally rattled. I guarantee he has never won an argument with his wife. Never. All right, honey, I'll do the dishes after after the game. It's almost over. Okay, I can do it now. It's just a game. But really, the reason that I'm pro same-sex marriage is all this anti-gay stuff is an inconvenience in my life. Any sports fans out there? No, it's Ben, there's no sports fans. 
Every time an athlete comes out, it takes up half of fucking ESPN, half of ESPN.com. I don't know why it's so surprising that a gay man would want to have a job where he gets paid millions of dollars to run around all day with big, muscular, sweaty men. I mean, shit, I would work at a topless car wash if there was one in town. Another reason is, come election time, there's just so much shit around. They put all those little posters up, total waste of paper. All the propositions on TV, waste of my TV time. I can't even follow the propositions anymore. I was in California when I lived there and Prop 8 was the gay marriage thing. And I voted for Prop 18 instead. Because I couldn't follow it. It was a ban on non-organic eggs. So I vote for organic eggs and I vote against gay marriage. So now I'm like the biggest hippie in the world. It's like, oh, I need everything organic, and I don't believe in the institution of marriage. <laughs> Were any of you guys here two weeks ago when I sang? Woo! Woo! Yeah! Only a couple of you. Woo! Okay, then maybe I'll sing. Oh, just hold on, you may even laugh. So another one of my political beliefs that I'm very adamant about is legalization of marijuana. Yeah! Yeah! Way more of you clap for the weed than the same-sex marriage. Why can't we have both? We should. We should, exactly. So I have... Now my second state that I've gotten a legalization uh, medical marijuana card, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm working on all 50. Kill. 52? 52 what, Guam and Puerto Rico? <laughs> so what I thought is when I moved here from California, I thought it was as easy to get a weed card in Oregon as it is in California. I thought everywhere was the same. Tell you about my experience in California. I walk up, it's in a, one of the worst neighborhoods in San Francisco, the window of the place is like barred up. Like, There's no way it's fucking out here. I open the door, it was like Willy Wonk in the weed factory. <laughs> There's this little orange midget at the door handing out pop brownies. There's these six foot tall marijuana plants with big hash rocks under them. There's this river of resin running through the place. This little fat German kid fell in it and just got sucked up through a bong. So when the doctor was ready, he came out and he decided to give me a little tour of the place. So he's, he's got a little top hat and a green suit on. He's just like, Smoke with me, and you'll be in a world of heavy inhalation. Hit a joint, it will point straight to your pure imagination. We'll begin with a spliff, but we'll have to call it medication. Why that's so? I don't know, there must be a legal implication. <laughs> so he sits me down in his office and he's, he's trying to be all serious doctor, but I look at the wall behind him where most doctors, it says like Stanford Medical School, Columbia Medical School. His was like Pacific University Northwest State Online. <laughs> so he's like, so Charlie, my boy. Uh, my name is Scott, sir. What's wrong with you? What brought you here? I'm like, uh, 
Um, I don't know, the website said if I bring a hundred dollars, that's cool. <laughs> Congratulations, Charlie, my boy. This is all yours. <laughs> so I get my card and I go out to the reception and she's breaking down all the rules for me. She's like, keep this card in your car and if the cops pull you over and you have weed, you're cool. So I'm like, uh, so how much can I have? Like a gram, an eighth, and you know, a quarter or whatever. She's like, four ounces. <laughs> Who wrote that bill? Fucking Cheech? <laughs> Why am I gonna have four ounces? I can even fit four ounces in my car, frankly. <laughs> but I was so happy. I took my little card and I ran all the way home with my little golden ticket. <laughs> I always thought my Life would be nothing but sobriety. But suddenly I begin to see a big fat bag for me. Cause I have a legal weed card. I have a glazed look in my eye. I never had a chance to buy, never a legal sack to fry. But now half an ounce is mine. What an amazing thing. What an amazing thing. Thank you. There's more. Wait, there's more. Because I have a legal weed card. It's no game. And now I can smoke and joke and toke until I forget my name. And I skipped all the way home. I swear to God, every time I go in those dispensaries, I think, why can't everyone have this? Why are there only five golden tickets? All right? Yeah! There you go. I'm going to your car after the show. <laughs> if you have pot, because I don't have it. Oh, well, why the fuck are you cheering, man? That's I bait and switch. I'm, I'm broke. So... For me, weed is great because it does make my sets a lot funnier. For the rest of us too, yeah! Well, when I'm writing my jokes and I don't smoke weed, I come up here and I sound like our host, Ryan Charles, who's about to get yeah. upstairs. 